<laughs> well, Halloween just ended about five and a half hours ago, but for one hotel in San Antonio, the scares are year round. Kids 5 meteorologist Bill Taylor, sports director Joe Reinagel volunteered for a spooky assignment. I don't think so. I think they made somebody mad yeah. and they were sent out there. That's just my guess. So they spent last night at the Black Swan Inn. It is one of the top haunted sites in Texas. Yeah, they join us now live. And guys, other than you two and your PJs, was there anything creepy there? <laughs> that might have been the creepiest. That may have been the creepiest. So. And uh, after, you know, a sleepover last night, Joe and I might have to have a long conversation with our wives. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, we're, we're joined by Joe Rivera, the owner and resident of the Black Swan Inn. Thanks for having us. Of course. I'm glad you survived the night. It's nice to see <laughs> you. It really is. You're still here. Uh, yeah, it's real nice that we survived. You were saying they, they were well behaved and, and you have up to seven to eight spirits living here all the time. Right, you guys just got a little taste. You didn't get any of the mm -hmm. nasty stuff telling you to get out and other things. We saw things early. I remember yeah. last night, as we're standing in this room, a puff of smoke appeared about a foot away from my face. And it just, as soon as I saw it, it was gone. Right. That was great because you never had an experience, so you never. got to have the first time here. Yeah, and hey, it was we within the hour. Time. I know, right? <laughs> see, see? And we brought along a couple of ghost hunters, Joe, that were we really did. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. San Antonio ghost hunters last night, and they had all this neat stuff, all this equipment. Take a look at some of the video, and you can see what we're talking about. There were some eerie sounds going on last night, that's for sure. And then they have these little stick figures that you'll see here in a moment, and, and, and that's supposed to represent a spirit just kind of hanging around or doing his thing, and, and they'd get where they'd actually kind of interact with you. And I'm telling you guys, because when we came in here, really didn't know what to expect, but you feel the, the chills, right? And, and it really gets kind of creepy and you get a cold sensation. And it's, it, it was really quite an experience, I'm gonna tell you. Even it, the air around those stick figures would turn cold. I mean, it would be cold pockets of air. I think that was the neatest thing I experienced. And again, I have never experienced anything paranormal in my life. Until last night. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the history. This home is from 1860. Yeah, we started in about 1868, and it's built on the battle site of the Battle of Salado, which was fought here in September 1842. Um, it's a historic property. Um, it's full of history and hauntings. We have amazing things that happen. Um, this Saturday night, we have the Masquerade Ball, which, by the way, Guess who's coming? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun every year. The big masquerade ball, yeah, this Saturday, and the weather should cooperate. You and okay? here, yeah, well, here's the thing. I mean, you just walk around this place, you're hearing creepy noises. Oh, I mean, yeah. you really are. All it's the just time. like everything creaks. So, it, a lot of fun here at the Black Swan Inn. All right, guys, guys, I'm curious, what is the nastiest thing that you saw there, aside from the cold air, of course? <laughs> Nothing bad. No. I mean, it wasn't anything like when you say haunting, you know, you think scary or you're in trouble or you get, we were never afraid. No. I mean, they never, they well, never did anything like that. I wouldn't say we're never afraid well, never, because there yeah. was a time or two, you, you know, you, it was, yeah, it was, I was, I'll admit it. The, I'm milk, man enough. the milking barn was, was, <laughs> was pretty spooky. Yeah, that was a little scary. What, what a happens in the milking barn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what happened in the milking barn? <laughs> <laughs> the milking barn. They, they milked the animals at one point. All right, guys, we're gonna check yeah. back in with we're gonna check back in with you a little later. Thanks. We're glad you made it through.